I love time lapse photography. I love to watch it. I love to create it. It's just everything about it is very fascinating. I wanted to combine time lapse with video to create a little story. I wanted this camera to feel like it was down in the flower bed and that we were kind of peeking out of the flower bed at our scene. So we built a row of bricks that then the camera would slide along so we could see the different things happening along the bricks. When we set up our gnome in place and we were looking at him very harsh and unfriendly. To get rid of these harsh shadows, we added an overhead silk. It's a large silk, 20 by 20. I kept it very low so that it covers even a larger area. The lower you get it, the larger the area it will cover. I added a small fill light so that I can see the snails and some of the items on the bricks a little more clearly. This is a Hensel 500 watt hot light with an open face softbox attached. You know, the shot at this point is very soft but very flat. It needed some kind of interest, so we added a shiny board, camera left. It's going to put a nice harsh highlight on our gnome and give it a little bit of interest to the shot. Here's our gnome with a shiny board on it. Looks much more interesting. It's now time to resolve the time lapse portion of this shoot. I plugged in the Canon timer remote controller. This plugs in and you set how often you want it to take a picture. We set ours to take a picture every one second. The Kessler slider has a mode so it can shoot time lapse. We programmed our slider so it's going to take one hour and 15 minutes to travel that three foot distance. I wanted there to be a focus change during the time lapse sequence. So what I did is I focused on the popsicle, made a mark, then I focused on the gnome and made a mark. And then as we went across the carriage, I decided at what point do I want to change my focus from the popsicle to the gnome, and I made a mark there on the slider. And now as I watched this, the uh, carriage come across, as it came to that mark on the slider, I would start moving the focus every eight frames, just a little bit, between the close point to the far point until it was finally settled in on the gnome. You can see in the video that little kind of focus shift as it goes from the popsicle, the foreground, to the gnome in the background. That's where it stayed. So as we ended our time lapse sequence, the camera stayed in the exact same place, focused on the gnome. We now switch to movie mode and hit record. And at this point, we're ready to smash our gnome.